Me as a Palawan, I'm very reliant, I'm very passionate about the ocean. It's my it's culture, it's economy, it's religion, it's my future. So to be, to be able to get the chance to step up and make a better just to save the ocean for the future, that's something that I'm very inspired to do, something I'm motivated, very passionate about. Heirs to Our Oceans is a youth empowering nonprofit organization. Uh, we're multiple young kids and we, we all strive to compassionately work together for what we love, which is the ocean. We have done a lot of things so far and everything is usually facilitated and taken on by, by us kids because we believe that we are strong youth leaders for the world. You know, Palau is like a global environmental leader, especially like in the Pacific. And so it's important that we sort of walk that talk. We can't be importing and using all of this plastic at the same time. So I think it's important for Palau to decrease our single-use plastic consumption. Air Star Oceans believes that the real investment needs to happen in our youth, to empower our youth, to educate them as starting as young as possible about their waters, about their oceans, and the challenges all those water bodies face. Water is life, we live on a water planet, and it's imperative that our kids are aware of the challenges that they're gonna be facing as adults and the challenges that their children will have. Our focus, particularly for this week, has been very much on plastic pollution and the impacts of single use and disposable plastic and how those impact the ocean. This week culminated in a youth summit and the heirs to our oceans were able to come up with some tangible goals and benchmarks that they'd like to be able to achieve. I mean, that to me is tremendous and makes them realize that their voice matters. Going on that beach cleanup at Winterblobal, you saw a lot of garbage there and, and, and sometimes you get discouraged, but when you're working with young people with all that energy, you just can't help but feel the passion and, uh, and then you feel like you're really making an impact and, and you can really change the world. This is a second expedition that Oceanic Society has um, initiated with a partnership of nonprofits. One of the things I really enjoy about the collaborative expeditions is that we all have unique audiences and unique connections. Um, having that united message and showing people that we can work together, that we have a cause that we all deeply care about, in this case about the issue of single-use plastic pollution, um, is one of the ways that being collaborative really strengthens what we do. This is the flag of the state of Koror, and it is constructed of ocean plastic. I think it's a super progressive idea, because it's actually framing the state of Koror's commitment to a future that's more plastic-free. Since being an heir and being part of this organization, I've been so inspired by all of the youth that have come together to really work together and empower other youth to stand up for our ocean. Hey!